everyone. I know I look super crazy right now. Number one, because I have no makeup on, obviously. Number two, my hair is just... By the time you watch this, my hair will be chopped all the way off. I just have no desire to do it because I'm gonna get it cut off tomorrow. So why do my hair when it's just, it's gonna be gone? So anyways, this is all very um, unrelated to this video. Third reason I look weird is I'm wearing this pajama shirt thing because I have self-tan developing on. So we'll see how that turns out. <laughs> But anyways, I went to Target last night to get a purse and left with $50 worth of things that weren't a purse. And while I was there, I got this. Now, this is from Soap and Glory. They just got a new section in Target and it's their sexy mother pupper, whatever that is, lipstick. And I saw this and you're not really supposed to swatch, you know, products that aren't the swatching products. So I didn't swatch it, but it had, the seal had already been broken. So I lifted it up and I was like, oh yeah, that's really pretty. Like, you know, just a pretty nude. This thing is bright pink, but I did get a little upset because obviously I wasted money and I had already like used it. So I wasn't going to try and take it back because it's Target. It's not like Sephora or Ulta where you couldn't take it back and explain it. They might've taken that back, but I just, I don't want to do that and beat that that customer. <laughs> So instead, it gave me the idea to do a makeup challenge in which I use the worst products that I own. This is kind of similar to the full face of products I don't like or products I hate challenge, but it's more like these are the worst ones that I own. And you know, um, I guess I have to do this disclaimer like everybody does. Sorry if these are your favorite products. I just don't like them. I don't like them for me, okay? So let's just move on with the... The thing. Okay, so first thing, it would be primer, but I don't have a primer that I really dislike, so I'm just gonna move into foundation, and I actually really do like this foundation. I know, this is starting out great. This is not a bad foundation, it's actually a BB cream, and it's really pretty, but it kind of breaks out my face, I think. The main issue is that it's so light. So we're just gonna start with that because like, why not? And most of the brushes I'm gonna be using are like the normal brushes that I use, but I figured since this is a kind of okay foundation, I'm gonna use this foundation brush that I don't think I know how to use properly because it never turns out looking okay. It doesn't look that light, like when you just look at it like this. Hopefully it'll show up on camera how light it actually is compared to the rest of my body. Why does this smell like eggs? Probably not a good thing to be putting on my face if it smells like eggs. <laughs> also, the undertones in this are pink and I have very yellow undertone skin, so that's a thing too. I hate drugstore foundation because you can't match it to your skin. I don't know how people buy foundation online and have it match perfectly, let alone buy it in store without testing it. Well, I did buy foundation online one time. What the heck happened to that foundation? Okay, so that really doesn't look that bad. Um, doesn't really look bad, but it is, it's pale, it's pale, but let's just move on, you know, this is just the beginning. <laughs> now let's move on to concealer. Now I got this concealer because I ordered the Shape Tape one and then the Shape Tape was out of stock. So I guess part of the conditions of when you order online with Google Express, which I'll never do again after this, if they're out of stock of the product that you want, they can send a different product. So they sent this, this is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof 12 Hour Concealer. And I didn't send it back because I was like, whatever, I'll just keep it, you know, you know, I'll have an extra concealer. This stuff just, it doesn't look good. I don't know if it's just my skin. I don't know if it's too light for me, but let's do it. Oh wait, first, 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 almost forgot. First we need to color correct. This is the Pixi Brightening Peach Correction Concealer. This stuff actually, I used to use it all the time, works really good, but the bad part about it is, is when you put mascara on, it bleeds everywhere under your eyeballs. This could match as like an actual concealer. Dang. Look at me being a beauty guru. I wanted this to turn out funnier. I wanted the thumbnail to be really funny so people would click on it because clickbait. But I feel like it's just gonna be the same as all the other beauty guru challenges that use the makeup products they hate and it all looks perfect on their face. Now we're gonna take this concealer. Oh yeah, that's definitely the right color. I mean, obviously you're supposed to highlight under your eyeballs, but this is like my color when I'm pale, like my natural color. I spoke too soon about the not looking crazy part. Now we're just gonna blend this in. It's a nice consistency, it's like creamy, but it just doesn't sit well on the skin in my opinion. I don't know, I prefer the shape tape. It's a lot 
better. This stuff would probably work really well if you had like no texture whatsoever on your skin. But I have pores and acne scars and I know you can't see it, but like up close. I'm so sore guys. I've been working out at the gym and my back right now is just sore from sitting up straight. How sad is that? Now that I look like a ghost, let's move on to the next step. I feel like this isn't blended enough, but like this is as blended as it's gonna get. Okay, well we'll move in up close for this part. The majority of the face I'm gonna be using is this. This thing is from Ulta. It's one of those packages that comes with the things it has all these things inside it came with some lipsticks and stuff that actually aren't too bad but this thing just kind of sucks I feel like I should have known that going into it. I was like, oh, maybe there'll be like some good eyeshadow colors. The ones that I like really bought the palette for aren't the greatest. And I could have sworn that there was a translucent powder to set my face with, but apparently not. So I guess we'll just move straight into bronzer. Taking this brush, contour brush, and I'm gonna be trying this bronzer right here. I don't think it's gonna be very pigmented at all, but we'll, we'll see. It's actually not that bad if you have really pale skin. Actually, I shouldn't be using this. What am I talking about? I should be using... Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? I went to go say I should be using this, the brush that it comes with, and I went to get it out and it broke. What is my life? Stick it back in there. All right, perfect. Again, actually not that bad. If you had super pale skin, this might work for you. I mean, I still don't recommend buying it, but... It sucks because the camera makes everything look better. I'm bronzed. And then there's this shimmery thing, and I don't know if it's supposed to be a bronzer or a highlighter because these two are highlighters up here, and then these two are blushes, I think, and then I think that that might be a bronzer. So let's just put that right on top. Ooh, it's actually kind of pretty. Oh, this is so powdery. Look. <sighs> oh, that was a fail. Low-key finna use this stuff. <laughs> and this is supposed to be the worst makeup product I own challenge, not the best. Next I'm gonna put on blush. So let's use this brush and we're just gonna go in with a mixture of the two blushes right here. Okay, I can't tell if that did anything. Oh yeah, oh, that did something. Oh yeah. Let me fix the exposure really quick. I feel like I was slightly overexposed so you couldn't really see the actual greatness of what this is. Wow, I look amazing. Moving on with the face, we're gonna go ahead and do some highlights. So I'm just gonna take this, this brush. It's kind of like a highlight brush. I really should just be using this brush for everything. So let's actually use this brush. And I'm gonna take a mixture of the two highlights. which is powder literally going everywhere. Okay, why is this actually working good? Like I'm kind of annoyed right now. I don't have any products that I really hate as far as bronzers slash... Well, I do have one bronzer that's really orange, but it, it can kind of work as like a blush. I should have just used that. Apparently I just look normal so far. Whatever. Now the next thing I'm gonna use is gonna make some people mad, but it's the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I've tried this so many times and I guess I should tr probably try it again, but I just don't see... <sighs> I don't see a difference when I use it. If anything, it's actually a little bit less of a difference. So we're gonna use it today. I feel like it just wipes off my concealer and then makes my eyelids oily. Now we're gonna set that with the grand finale. Not the grand finale, because I still have to do my eyebrows and my lips, but the star of the show. We're gonna set that with um, some eyeshadows. I'm actually gonna use the eyeshadow brushes and hopefully they don't break off. I'm gonna take this brush and just take this white color and set that. Aw, oh, there we go. Now you guys are seeing it. Looks so beautiful. Can you just tell how good it blends out? So good! I'm never gonna get sponsorships after this video. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Beautiful. What do I wanna do today? I think these actually work really good for like really shimmery things. Not even lying to you. I think we're gonna do this blue color. Turquoise. Oh, that's, that's black. That, why did I think that was blue? All right, well, now that I look um, seen, I sincerely thought this was gonna be like sparkly blue. There's literally no sparkles in it whatsoever. Okay, I'm gonna cheat a second here. I'm gonna try my blending brush to blend it. No, I'm not, because that's gonna ruin my blending brush. Sorry. We'll just try and blend it out with this brush. I'm not using my blending brush because I don't want black makeup all over it. Hey, that looks a little bit better. This eye is struggling. It's, that's struggling. Now we're gonna highlight the inner corner of the eye since there's not really much else to do here. With this color, that one. That actually doesn't look half bad. 
should have used more transition colors because I feel like you don't really get to see how bad these eyeshadows are without me transitioning the colors in them. So I'm sorry. Let me just add this really pretty. This was like why I bought the thing, this purpley thing and try and put that in the crease. It's kind of working today. Why is everything working today? What the heck? Why is it actually working? Well, I guess I'm not like trying to blend it out nicely. So that might be why. I just look, I look beautiful. We're gonna try and do eyeliner and this thing comes with these gel eyeliners right here. So I think because the eye is so dark, I'm gonna try and do this gold color right there. See how pigmented this is. Why is it kind of working right now? Oh look. Beautiful. Now let's do the brows because I left these for the end for some reason. But we're gonna use these powders because I think these are supposed to be brow powders. Uh, I'm not really sure exactly what they're supposed to be, but I'm gonna use them as brow powders. That one and start filling in my brows. Yes. Slay. I should have washed my brushes before this because I think they still have some product on them from like my good makeup products. Okay, if the whole makeup itself wasn't really terrible, it wouldn't be that bad. Yeah. Mm. Yes. <laughs> and I don't have a mascara that I hate, so I'm just using one of my really. This is legit, like two years old. I know that that's disgusting, and I should not be putting this on my eyeballs. This is from Lancome. No mascara works really amazing on my eyes because my eyelashes are non-existent. Oh, actually, we're gonna line our waterline really quick with this eyeliner pencil from here. It's the purple one. You know, we're just gonna try and use it. Ah! Look at that pigment. Oh my. And last but not least for the one product that started this entire idea to begin with, and that is this guy. So this is really gonna tie the whole look together. Like, it's just gonna look so good. It actually might look okay because my foundation's so light. Let's see. Oh no, it still looks ridiculous. My immediate thought when I first put this on my lips was the how I did my makeup in high school challenge. All right, so this is the finished look. It looks so like not porous, not texturized. And yeah, that's gonna be the end of this video. I hope that you enjoyed. I hope that it was kind of original compared to like the makeup products I hate video because I just think, I mean, maybe it's the same exact thing and I'm just trying to take credit for something that I didn't start. But regardless, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, you know, give it a thumbs up. I'm afraid to drink from my water because I have so much lipstick on my face. And if you recreate this look, be sure to tag me on Instagram at turnthepge. And that's gonna be it. So I love you guys so much and I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.